Hello everyone. So today I am back with another video, and today I am going to. I am not going to do a design today. I am going to answer some of my comments, some of the comments from my videos, because nowadays I am not getting enough time to reply everyone's comment. So I am going to reply them all in this video. Like there are some questions like where can you find horse mockups? So this kind of mockups when you see me using. Basically, I am taking them from Placid. You can buy the subscription of Placid. You can access thousands of their mockups. Another comment is RGB or CMYK. So we are making designs for print-on-demand websites like Teespring, Merge by Amazon, Redbubble, something like that. So we are using RGB color mode, not CMYK. But if you are going to print them manually, then you should work on CMYK. So that's the comment here. Here is another comment. Okay, so can you write the steps down or go slower, guys? There is option on YouTube videos. You can watch it slowly and follow like slower. That's you can do easily. I don't need to make it slow. Okay, where is the link in the group? So for this graphic style or any resources that I am sharing, like vectors, fonts, everything, you can. You have to come to this best T-shirt designs group and then. This is the pin post of this group. In this pin post, you will get everything that I am sharing to my community. You can see this is the vectors, mock up, PSD, fonts, Halloween bundle, metallic font, grass texture, decorative element. This is the graphic style. So, this is the 500 vector collection I shared. So, everything you will find here in this group pin post. So, make sure that you are checking the right group. This is the best recent design groups. You can check the URLs here anyway. So, can we please have the texture that you used? Basically, I am using grass texture from FreePick. If you search like grass texture, you will find the tons of them free to download. You can download them, and this one is the one I use most of my designs in most of my designs. But this is free, you can see nothing premium I'm using here. Okay, so make a specific video for font. Yeah, I have a specific video for fonts. You have to like search it. I don't know where it. Okay, so for fonts, you have to watch this video of mine, premium fonts. Here I shared some of my font collection, and of course, I did some talking about how to use fonts or which type of fonts. You can also watch this video for understanding the male and female fonts. You can watch this one for this one for understanding the font, the way it works, the license, everything like that. So that will help you. Now font gula Okay, I download most of my fonts from different Google websites. Like some of them are free, some of them are paid, but I don't really care about that. Okay, so that is the comment section maybe if i click it like the comments i haven't responded yet that there will be lots of more things okay here is another one like where i am taking my vectors for my design so most of the times i am using free pick for my vector needs and that is really good website you can get some free to download options and of, of course i have premium license of free pick but most of the time just i am using free elements for my videos because i want to want you guys to practice with me if i am using premium then you should find this hard to get a premium on okay so Okay, so here is a question that I want to ask permission. Can I copy your designs? Okay, you can do my design. You can practice my design, but you cannot sell them or you cannot use them in Fiverr, Upwork or your portfolio as this is your design. Because basically you are practicing by watching my videos and tons of different people are doing the same. So if you start selling them on Fiverr, then you can get copyright strikes, of course, from me. And of course from other users because this is a public channel anyone can watch my video and practice so do some practice with my videos with my design but do not try to sell them or try to upload them on your fiber or upwork account something like that 
okay so this is this pics i made a video here with images like this horse image so in this time i didn't make it a vector i was making it a i was keeping it raster because this was just about to create a 300 dpi png so you need to make it a vector every time and this image i took from free pic so that was super high resolution so don't worry about that but if you are using something that is not that much high resolution then you should make it a vector so color themes yeah color themes are not working right now i don't know it is maybe adobe's problem but i hope they will fix it soon so another one yeah are you on fiber i want to learn from you yes i have i am working on fiber and upwork but i don't share my marketplace profiles here in this public platform because then i will get lots of unnecessary impressions that i don't want so if you want to work with me or if you want my fiber profile then you have to inbox me on facebook if i think like i should share with you i will share with you okay changing dpi to ppi yeah i will okay let me talk about this dpi is dot per inch that is when a printer is going to print something like in color or on color two color they are the measure it like how many dot will be in a single inch that is dpi and ppi is pixel per inch so okay i'll maybe make another video about this specific one thank you for asking okay so let me check okay my red bubble store is right now under review because i did a drawing of something like a black forest culture of okay let me show you guys okay guys so this was the drawing i did from an image reference you can see this is a complete vector drawing not something like tracing an image i did a tons of work in it this is everything is hand drawn and this design i made for my store then i upload it and i get a copyright strike from some of the one of the german companies i don't even know them and they are giving me a strike because they think this is a copy of this one but this is an image from alami stock or you can find similar images tons of them on google and i took one of it and then i make a drawing of it to sell in my store but that get copyright strikes and my channel red bubble store is now under review so that's what i wanted to share with you okay so this one is good let's expand hey. if you want to make a design like this like this glitter effect or using some glitters you don't basically need to expand everything because you just want a 300 dpi png for uploading on print on demand so it doesn't necessary to expand everything but if you are working for a client and he is asking you to expand everything that you, you should do that okay so i don't know that's something that's the older video okay so for a keyboard key shortcut i use osd hotkeys for showing my keyboard and here is another software i don't <laughs> remember its name right now maybe something like sold soft mouse track this is the software i use for showing my keyboard on screen so very good but one thing you cannot update in information the description box okay so the reason i i don't put anything in my description box is i have seen tons of different channels who shared their resources on a on their video description and people just download it and I don't want that. I want to make sure that if you are downloading my resources, then you are practicing or you are at least joining our community to see, to share your work, to learn, to share what you, you have learned from watching my videos. If I start putting the, everything in my like channel description, video description, you guys will just download it and I do, I'll not know if you are practicing it or not or if you are, whatever you are doing, I will not know. So that's why I post everything in my group and as you can see whenever i am posting anything in my group i add that once link like if i am using a vector okay you can see the tons of different people are posting in our group and this is really inspiring this is inspires others to work like if you are not going to work here like you are not feeling like working tonight but if you are see someone doing a good design then you can you may want to practice that so that's why we 
I like to share everything in my Facebook group. So here you can you are, you can download everything I'm sharing with every video and of course in this pin post you will get everything I have shared and I will share. But the reason I, I don't put them in my video description is I want to know who is downloading them. So that's it. Now okay so about a lots of video. Yeah, I do some videos. I do some work on Photoshop. Like I work on both Photoshop and, and Illustrator, but I don't make many videos on Photoshop because most of the time I don't get many responses on Photoshop tutorials. So that's why I keep making on Illustrator. But for my client work, I do both. Okay, this comment I don't understand. If you want to show up your pixel from any side, it would be nice to see it painted yellow. Okay, I don't know that what that means. Okay, guys, so this is this was some of the comments. Okay, maybe there are lots more loading. Okay, let me see. Okay, can you share your red bubble earning for motivation? Why will you need my earning for motivation? The amount I am earning, you are not going to earn the same. Maybe you will earn more or less. Just keep focusing on your work. So that will make you success okay so i need to find some more comments here let me check okay so here is another comment how can i clearly understand transparency part for transparency you can watch my tons of videos in my channel and i have used transparency in most of them like all of them i use transparency so if you want to learn transparency in a perfect way you can watch this video like this escalant gun video and then of course you can watch my latest one this one no it's not that one this one this gamer one this will help you understand transparency and if you want to really learn it from the beginning then there is a video in my channel that is called the cat mom i don't know where it will show up right now or not Okay, this one transparency tool Adobe Illustrator. You can watch this video. I hope this will clarify the concept about transparency. And if this will, if this three video is not like helping you, then you need to watch a lots of video. I can assure you that in 95% of my videos, I'm using transparency. So that's the easiest way of making a design. I hope that will help you guys. Okay, so. I don't know what that means you are commenting here how to download because you guys okay so here is another one like why is your design in RGB profile it's for print because we use print on demand websites we are not printing them manually so that's why we are using making our designs in RGB profiles that is the way Okay, so no, no, here is another question that yeah, I know, but the colors might be different. No, if I am making it in RGB and using printing it through a print on demand, then it will stay exactly the same. Not 100% because we see something on the screen like this, it is very glossy and with the tons of color shading. But after printing this on t shirt, it will may, it may look like a little different, but not. Too much different that a human I can see something like that so don't worry about the RGB or CMYK if you are using print on demand then go for RGB that is the way of using it okay so that's tons of different comments here like okay guys let me show you something so you can see there is more than maybe 300 plus videos in my channel so I get these questions regularly like where to start so if you want to start like from the beginning then watch this kind of videos where i am doing only typography type of works so this is the kind of design you should go for if you are a beginner and then after watching that kind of videos typography you can go for a little advanced level like this vector works so you can see there is tons of video how to make vectors how to use premium vectors from freepeak how to make vectors from images then if you have the 
understanding you can watch this one how to choose the right vector or how why you should not copy vectors there is a tons of different videos in different topics you can see how to make this kind of advanced clipping mask here so start from wherever you want just keep practicing you can see this one is only typography but there is a tons of work in it like small details you can learn a tons of things here this one is in advanced level work like making a complete scene for a design you can see this is the christmas design with a pattern using a pattern that's the tons of work here so go with the typography first then when you understand the typography well or you understand the text placing then you can go with go for some vector works like this one this one this is a photoshop tutorial you can watch it this is the type of vector works i'm talking about this one this one this one is a custom illustration kind of work but using some pre-made vectors this is how to research the marketplace so there is a different there is a variety of my videos because i don't keep making one style videos i have every style videos in my channel so if you want to learn about this kind of glitter effect or how to make this kind of glitter designs you can watch this one this one is also on glitter so this is photoshop designs i hope this one this everything will help you understand new work you, you can see how you can make a mock-up here how you can make a pattern with the design how you can make upload them to spring or red bubble this is some kind of advanced level work maybe you will not find something similar on your total youtube this is how to work for clients this is how to make a decorative design so this is envelope disorder tons of different styles of design so if you are a beginner then go with the first step is go for the easy ones the one you can think you think you you can do like this simple typography designs then go for this vector works and when you are in a mid level intermediate level then you can go for like following me regularly because nowadays i am making some simple designs some complex designs some photo designs some photoshop designs some drawing style designs vector works so everything so first step is you need to understand the basic typography things and then if you can do that typography things then you can place vector between them because you can see if you are not using if you are not doing good on typography then your vector works doesn't look good you can see this design looks really good because the vector and the text is placed in the same way like the same style that's why it is making it a good design or look good so go for typography first like this one practice this one first if you can do it perfectly then go for this one okay so that is the way you can start and i don't have any playlist right now but i will try to make one and of course guys keep commenting on my videos whatever you want to learn i will make one video weekly then there i will try to answer all of your questions because i don't get enough time for answering everyone's comment but i will do that weekly and i have another trend that is design request you can ask me to do any kind of designs post in our group to look make it like sorry for that post in our group so that we can i can show you how to make that kind of designs so that's the guy that's it guys I hope this will help you or I am trying my best to teach you guys how to become a good t-shirt designer, how to become good at anything you are doing. So keep supporting me, subscribe to my channel, like, comment and join our Facebook group for practicing purpose and getting the files I am sharing. So see you in the next video guys. Have a great time. Thank you everyone.